<laughs> Did you ever see him when he uh, was on top of uh, Igor Vicentian and hits him with the knee right in the eye socket? Just puddles up with blood. I don't think I've seen that. It one. was beautiful. It's yeah. like your dog bite thing story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The end. Yeah. The end. Was it the end? Right. Now nah. I can't watch all his fights. He's got like 101 wins. Like or like was he like 100? How many fights? 129. I don't know. He don't know. He's got two for every year that he's been out of high school. (laughs) (laughs) Plus. Does he know? Does he know? Pretty that's pretty good there. I enjoyed that one. Uh, It might be three. Three, yeah. I think it's closer to three fights. uh, Do you know how many how many total fights? I like he does. He does he know how many? How many total fights you got, Dan? I could even uh, whatever whatever the uh, <laughs> internet says. You could probably add, I'd say, at least twelve to fifteen more fights, because all those different watchdogs of uh, of MMA and No Holds Barred they didn't exist. You know, like uh, right. Shit Dog, Full Contact Thank Fighter, God, they did not exist until two or three years after uh-huh. the fact. And uh, you know, they only ever monitored one company, and that was the Ultimate Fighting Championship. So I, I'd say you could you know add easily another 10, 12 matches yeah because dan dan got me several fights career. before yeah. before i got into the ufc all oh, right and yeah. um he got me a fight on a uh, new year's eve 96 95 96 and i won the world heavyweight suit fighting championship he won the world super yeah uh, world super heavyweight mm. you know uh suit fighting championship on a, you know uh, that night and Does he, uh, yeah, same place. He was a super heavyweight. I was a heavyweight. Same place. Yeah, yeah. Is it the Kellogg Arena? Remember that, Dan? Michigan. I got a question. Uh oh, yeah. Okay, that that'd be a, a Nick, a, a Kit like Kit like production. production. Yes. yes. Now let's just say that. Yeah. Well, what was the name of that? Do you remember yeah. the yeah. his is K E C or something like that or karate. Yeah, see, as you're as you're saying it more and more, I mean, I, I mean, just bringing back uh, some some foggy memory of, of that. But that was, uh, I'll just say, it was a very interesting night, uh, yeah, and, and yeah. interesting uh, matches, and uh, just you, you know, just a strange event all the way around. Well, Dan got me like six fights, you know, because I I saw him on TV, and I so I called him, hey, I got to do this shit. So I call him, hey, Dan, this is Don Fry. Remember me? Yeah, how you doing, you know? And I was like, can you get me in on this shit? So he got me some fights. And, you know, the check's still in the mail on all of them, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but think of the interest. Shit. Yeah. When you finally get those bastards, yeah. uh, woo, you're yeah. set. At well, some point in time, you just get to <laughs> so. Hey, Dan, the internet has you at 101, 19, uh, and 1. No, 101, 19, oh, yeah, and 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. add another twenty ish, maybe one twenty. Wins or losses? Yeah. Wins. <laughs> I, I, I'd, I'd say between you know a dozen or so. Sure. What they win? All wins, the, right? The all losses, wins? The, the losses, those, those are all etched in my mind. But the victories, no, they are, they just flow. I have a like. I think it's a really good question. Oh, we'll see. So the same night. Eh, doesn't we'll matter what you think. <laughs> doesn't matter what you think, anyways. <laughs> I think I like you. Ed, ed, um, edit this. Edit this next question out, please. Chuck. Whenever, so you won the super heavyweight, he, or he won the super heavyweight. You won the heavyweight, right? At right. the same night, yeah, same event, yeah. yeah. I want to know what year was this? Got to be about 90, 95, 96, yeah. New Year's Eve. Perfect. What kind of fucking party was that night? I gotta uh, know. Well. Uh, it was odd, I'll tell you. <laughs> Severn wasn't partying. He never partied, so right. he had disappeared to a bowl of ramen. And, <laughs> he, <laughs> he went. He went whole. He went whole milk instead of the two percent. Yeah. Uh, and this guy, <laughs> he, he, had, he won a Kellogg. Dan, uh, Dan, 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 Dan. Kellogg cereal for life. You know. <laughs> I'm gonna have home. I'm gonna go have a healthy bowl of cereal and call it a night. But I'm gonna splurge on the. Whole milk. Hey, I, 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 might have, I might have got a little crazy. I might have had frosted flakes there that night. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? That's Don't you dare. Be. You're getting wild now. You're getting wild. Pushing over the top. Yeah, that's, that's way. Woo! <laughs> push, push his blood sugar level over. <laughs> you know? So, like, all right. So, so Dan went to bed. Got it. Okay. It was funny. What did you do? Well, <laughs> he still hasn't shit. slept, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sh- uh, Ken Shamrock was there. Frank Shamrock was there. Oleg Tektaroff was there. Um, uh, 
Oh, that's who it was that he hit in, in the face with the knee. Oleg, yeah. Oleg, uh, Said okay. Igor. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering. Was, yeah. But um, he didn't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah. Like you don't want to hurt people's the feelings. Fuck, he remembered something I didn't. Hey, God like he now. doesn't. <laughs> hey, like he doesn't want to hurt their feelings. <laughs> Don didn't want to hurt you. <laughs> Sorry. God. It inside, was some inside joke. It was some Russian that he fucked up, you know. But Did you get in a fight? Did you just get hammered, drunk that night, and celebrate your heavyweight championship? No, no. I, um, what was funny was he, uh, Kit, had some porn stars there. Uh, Ken? For, uh, Kit. Oh. Kit, like, his, oh. had the porn, some porn stars there for um, ring card girls. Oh. And... Uh, <laughs> And I'll tell you what, it was it was kind of it was kind of going off, yeah, <laughs> the party. And I was I didn't know who the hell they were. Come find out, one one of them was Christy Canyon, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you were just know. no. I was a dumbass fuck uh, fireman the horse sewer, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like all excited about all the electricity, you know. Sure. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. I I was just thinking, like I don't know, like whenever I heard that, like the same night, you guys are, you know. Like tight like that, and he wins the set super heavy. And you, I don't know if I'm winning the super heavy, and someone's, the, I feel like the party's gonna be crazy that yeah, night. Like yeah. celebrating, like like me and my my buddy, like you know we train, you know, and like he wins this one, I win that one. Like, I couldn't think of a better time to have a party. Yeah. Right. That's all I'm saying. Right. I think yeah. the next year you bought a house in Christie Canyon, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> cottage. It was a cottage. It was a cottage. It was a cottage. <laughs> yeah. It was a. It wasn't an island, but it was. It, yeah. it was fuck, a cottage. You know? yeah. It was a it cottage. Was a, yeah, it was a tent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to give you a cottage. You, want a tent? Okay. you got a one acre a island. I, I got I got eighth a of an acre. Ten foot. Yeah, <laughs> I got a ten foot tent. Yeah. Yeah. That'll work. Snuggle. <laughs> well, Mister Seven is much better with his money. You know, I mean. Yeah, uh, he's got the first original dollar, you know. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> Not zero, the first one. Zero, 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 one. <laughs> yeah. His number, zero, 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 one. Yeah. That's funny as hell. I got, I, actually, the beast, Dan, Dan, I have a question. Seven. Can I come visit your island someday just to check it out? No. Not for free. Parts of <laughs> yeah, how much? Can, how much to visit the island? We have pl- we have how plans much? starting at two hundred and ninety nine for the weekend. <laughs> how much to visit the island? Possibly. Like, I'm just saying, like roundabout. You know, like, I don't need baby. I don't need hard numbers. I'll bring my own freaking shovel. It's all cash too, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bring a rucksack with some. All depends if it's if it's a, during the holiday. I mean, it's it could be special holiday rates on, on top of all that. You know. I'll make it easy on you. It'll be like a Tuesday. It doesn't matter when. <laughs> no, but uh, I wish you were here, though. Honestly, uh, I uh, look forward to meeting, you know, I've seen everyone again. I'm looking forward to meeting you in person uh, sometime. It's an honor. Thank you. Well, as long as you don't ask for a no, photo. No, same, same here. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh... No, it'd be awesome to have him back once he learns some shit about some dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Gets to the next level, you know? Yeah, I got to go back to the drawing board because I don't know what the fuck's wrong with Milo. <laughs> <laughs> Put him on the phone. Put yeah. Milo on the phone yeah. see if we can fix him. Oh, oh, hell no. We can't do that yeah. shit on the phone. <laughs> then, hey, then you could get his uh, cash app and he can send you some money. <laughs> if that, that dog can't talk on the phone. He needs me. <laughs> he, he needs help. He said, he said he needs help. So like, I'm just saying I know a guy. No, seriously, Dan, if you do need a dog yeah, trainer, you, let you, me you, know. So I'm serious about that, though. Sure. Yeah, you you you, you yeah. should be like the uh, that that guy goes goes up by the moniker the, the dog whisperer. Yeah, that, that could be you now. Yeah, yeah. Sir. Uh, that that, that can't you know streamer. why you know why that can't be me because I'm me. I don't want to be like somebody Gotta else. Be me. Dog whisperer. That shit's already coined to somebody else. But I feel like I'm just a communicator. So you have a, a few media uh, sources, right? You use do you uh, Instagram? Yeah, we're um, I have Instagram. I have uh, YouTube, and uh, we're. Doing pretty well on TikTok, making a lot of dog content for people. Um, it attracts a lot of attention. But, yeah, so my Instagram is um, the Pack Leader 7 T-H-A, Pack Leader 7 um, You can find us there on Instagram, which links me. You can find everything else from there, from YouTube. It's Ears Up K-9, just like it, just like it spelled Ears Dash Up K-9 on, on uh, YouTube. And, um, yeah, from those two, you can find pretty much anywhere we're at. Um, obviously, Ears Up K-9 on um 
um, on Twitter as well. We do there do a little bit of things there. But like, if you need anybody's looking for dog training, like want to book a session or anything like that, www.earsupk9.com. You can message me from there. And uh, yeah, there's a link in your bio on your Instagram. Well, how long yeah, link session? in my bio is for all for everything. If you go to my Instagram at you know the Pack Leader Seven, you'll find the link tree and it'll link you to everything else. How, how long is a session? Uh, you could go anywhere from like. To maybe from anywhere from an hour to two hours. It just yeah. depends because there's a lot of talking and teaching. So that's why I don't do like per hour. I do it per session because the session's not necessarily done when a, the clock strikes one hour. It, it might be we might need to do a little bit more. And, uh, you know, I quit when I think the dog's at the optimal level for that session. And, that's what and I then do. it goes for how long? No, it can go. I mean, Weeks? Oh, it depends on the package. Yeah, so like on my website, there's different packages. You can select doing like five sessions, and you get a little bit of break on the on the per session price because you do five. Uh, you can book single sessions. I do board and train by two week, three week, um, two week on leash, three week off leash, and e collar. And I have behavioral packages that go more in depth depending on the dog's situation and it, um, the, how bad the problems are. So that depends on how long you keep the dogs. But there's different packages for different things. You know, so um, just depends on what the dog owner wants, you know what I mean? So whatever they want, they want a basic on leash dog, then it's a, you know, it's a little bit less of a package and it's a little bit cheaper. So, but I pretty much do anything like that. Doesn't matter, dog, any, you know, any dog, any breed, any size, you know, we I train them. It doesn't matter. Chihuahua, Great Dane, age does it age matter? Age doesn't matter at all, really. I mean, the younger the better, right? So I start training dogs at four months old. For uh, you know, for on leash and off leash packages and stuff, but I mean, the earlier the better because they have less bad behaviors than still. When they have less bad behaviors, it's easier to not to cor- you don't have to condition them, you don't have to correct them out or, or re- I should say correct, but recondition them to be right that they don't even know already. So, but older dogs, it just takes direction, and a lot of dogs want to learn and want to do stuff. The owners just don't know how to do it, and that's where I come in and I help them learn how to actually communicate with their dog properly, or I teach the dog and then teach the owner. And that's pretty much it. So um, whatever you need, I guess, uh, you know, you can – I'm available in the Tennessee area, and even if not in the area, people come out from all over to bring their dogs to get trained by someone that they think actually knows what the hell they're talking about and provides a quality product. So right. you can search me any how you want to, reviews on Google. I don't. It doesn't matter. You'll see a 50 rating. So um, I want to thank you guys for the opportunity, and it's freaking awesome meeting all of you. Um, Don, I mean, it's been a long time, but uh, long time. it's uh, it's funny how this, how everything works, I guess. It's meant um, to be, man. Yeah, it's cool, man. So I, thank you for welcoming me into your house. And, well, uh, thank you, Dan. Right yeah, yes, sir. And Dan, nice meeting you virtually. Hope to meet you in person sometime. So uh, I uh, appreciate you as well, sir. <laughs> Thumbs up, guys. I think he fell asleep. <laughs> oh, sorry. I oh, was that boring. <laughs> sorry. We are wrapping things up. This has been another episode of Toxic Masculinity with your hosts, Don the Predator Fry and myself, Dan the B7. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. Beast out.